With hypothyroidism, are the fingernail ridges you get from this condition, vertical or horizontal? Oh, the human body. It's like a finely tuned instrument that plays a symphony of symptoms when something's off key. And in the case of hypothyroidism, that off key note can manifest on your very fingertips. Let's talk about hypothyroidism and those tiny time stamped records we call fingernails. Hypothyroidism, the condition where your thyroid gland isn't putting out enough hormones, takes a toll on many aspects of your health, nails included. Now the thing about nails is, they're like the rings of a tree or the layers of an onion. They can reveal quite a bit about your internal health saga. So are these ridges on your nails the vertical type that run from cuticle to tip, or the horizontal type that look like tiny little speed bumps across your nail bed? Well, in the case of hypothyroidism, the answer is typically horizontal. These ridges, known to those with white coats and fancy degrees as Bose lines, are like pauses in your nail growth possibly linked to the slower metabolism hurled at you by an underactive thyroid. They're like your nails are saying, let me take a breather here. And considering your metabolism controls how fast your body makes proteins, including the ones that make up your nails, that connection makes a kind of biological poetry. It's worth noting that these ridges can also be telling you about other bodily hiccups, like nutritional deficiencies or previous illness. Basically, anything that disturbs nail growth can leave a horizontal mark. Now there's a common mistake here. Not all ridges are created equal. Some folks have vertical ridges, which are usually less of a red flag symphony and more like casual background music. Aging is the usual conductor for these, although they can be the understudies for something else. But they're common and generally harmless, the medical equivalent of getting a few wrinkles or graying a bit. If you're noticing these horizontal lines and haven't had a sit down with your doc about your thyroid levels, it might be worth the chat. And let's lay it out bluntly. Don't rely on Dr. Internet for a diagnosis. Realistically, your fingertips won't give you all the answers. For that, you'll need blood work and a professional taking a peek at your specific scenario. In Portland, we're pretty conscious about health and the subtle signs from our bodies, mainly because we love hiking in the lush trails of the Cascade Range or enjoying the open spaces at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. And anything that hinders the ability to enjoy the breathtaking beauty of the Pacific Northwest is well worth looking into, right? So there it is. Horizontal ridges may well be the signpost you're looking for if you are navigating the confusing world of hypothyroidism. Just make sure to consult with healthcare pros before jumping to conclusions about what your nails are trying to tell you. Keep things holistic, be informed, and here's to your health and your nails.